something. So you don't want to mix it up and do the opposite. You won't reap the benefits of this fantastic movement. That's right. We're going to rotate 10 on this side, and then she'll bring her left leg forward and get 10 on the opposite side. All right, guys, this is the second mobility session of the week. Remember, mobility sessions designed to get you more mobile, obviously, but connected to new ranges of motion so that all the strength you gain from phase one is transferable, or at least safe and stable in different ranges of motion. Let's go over the movements you did today. First movement, good mornings. We're doing that because you did some heavy deadlifts yesterday. So we're working on that hip hinging, working through full ranges of motion, get, stretching the hamstrings. Uh, like the video shows, do it with good control. Then you're doing your push-ups with or to, excuse me, shoulder rotation. This is a great rotational movement, opens up the shoulders, opens up the chest. Do it with good tension. Everything has to have good tension, otherwise the mobility sessions aren't nearly as effective. The third movement, inchworm to upward dog. I know it says up dog there. Tell your friend up dog, he'll say what's up dog. That's a bad joke. So inchworm to up dog. That's a full movement the entire time. You're working on the thoracic spine, you're working on the shoulders, and you're also working on that hip hinging. Again, we're keeping in mind that yesterday we did deadlifts, so today we're gonna focus on mo mobility uh, around that kind of a movement. Finally, you finished with your lizard with rotation. This is Adam's favorite mobility move. In fact, somewhere buried on this channel is a video of Adam showing mobility movements, and lizard is the one that he starts with. Share this video, I'm on board. Remember, this is phase one performance, or at least the first five days of phase one, which includes the mobility session. It does have four phases. It's a long program. So if you're interested, out, go to my Also, if you have questions, put them in the comments. And finally, subscribe to this channel, because I said so. I wanted a master's degree to move up in my company, but the two years it takes at most schools, not for me. Then I found at WGU. All of their courses are competency-based. That means as soon as I prove I know the material, I can move on to the next course. On average, WGU grad students finish in just 19 months. 